What's going on, everyone? Chris from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Baltimore Orioles versus Minnesota Twins Major League Baseball matchup going down Wednesday, April 17th, 2024. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, the games that I love, including my daily $19 best bet, make sure that you head on over to PickDogs.com. Click the Premium Picks tab at the top of the page. Also, make sure you check out my 2024 Major League Baseball Grand Slam Season Pass. This is going to get you access to the weighting and rating of my plays for the first time. You're going to know where my biggest bets on the board are. It's also going to get you access to my Nerfies and Yerfies and my first five plays, as well as plays that I don't release at Pick Dogs. You know, plays that are based on things that happen throughout the day, based on line moves, money moves, pitching changes, uh, lineup scratches. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, text 775-636-7674. We'll get you some more information. But let's get to this one between the Baltimore Orioles and the Minnesota Twins. The Minnesota Twins sending out Pablo Lopez to the mound here. Um, the uh, excuse me, the uh, the Baltimore Orioles on MLB.com had Tyler Wells listed as the starter. Now I'm seeing to be determined at the time this video is being recorded. I might operate under the assumption that it is Tyler Wells, but we'll uh, we'll have to see if we can update that for you on on uh, Wednesday's morning show. But like I said, what we do know is that Pablo Lopez is slated to get the start here for the Twins. And Lopez got roughed up, you know, last time out, and which was a little bit of a surprise considering that you, know, you go back to last year for Pablo Lopez, he was a better pitcher on the road. And, you know, he started out this season sort of playing to the back of that baseball card when he had seven innings of one-run ball against the Kansas City Royals. But since then, it's taken back-to-back -back losses. He's allowed nine runs, eight earned on 12 hits over a combined nine and two-thirds innings, including five runs allowed and four innings of work against the Detroit Tigers in his last start. So, you know, the Twins are a, a decent team on paper, but there are certain things that are just going on within this team that's just making them hard to back. And right now, at the time this video is being recorded, the Baltimore Orioles absolutely kicking the teeth in of the Minnesota Twins. They're up 7 nothing at last glance. I'll have to see if the Twins can mount a comeback or if the Orioles will just be able to ride this one to the finish line. And I'm concerned here for Lopez, you know, you know, on the road, like I said, he had some issues and now you go take on a Baltimore team. That's really solid. They're really good at home. They're six and four entering Tuesday's action at home this season. They've mounted, you know, mounted a, uh, a bit of a winning run. They're five and two in their last seven. And I just think this is an Orioles team. That's going to be able to put up some runs on Pablo Lopez. It's a little bit crazy to say, considering Lopez's two career starts against the Orioles have yielded a 0.82 ERA and a two and O record, including a win in Baltimore of six innings of one-run ball uh, back in June uh, of last year. But again, the Twins right now are just striking out against everybody. And if it's, you know, if it's Tyler Wells here, then so be it. I mean, Wells, you know, definitely probably one of the lower-end pitchers in this Orioles rotation. But the Minnesota Twins have the third highest strikeout rate in baseball against right-handed pitching. And if they if they take on a lefty, it's not like things have gotten much better there. I mean, they're 20, striking out at 26.6% rate. So... Until the Twins show me that they can consistently drum up offense and put up, put up, put uh, put runs on the board, it's going to be be, uh, be hard for me to back them. The Baltimore Orioles, like I said, I'm not a huge Tyler Wells fan, but I trust their offense a lot more to be able to scratch some runs off of Pablo Lopez here. I like this team at home. This is one of my teams that I love backing. And not only that, we're getting a more favorable price with the Orioles right now. I know some people will say, well, maybe that's why the Twins are favorites because they have a pitching edge here. But I'm I'm not buying it with Lopez right now. And I think are the I think the Orioles one through nine are just the better team. So give me the Orioles here at minus one hundred two, and that's going to be my free pick. But just a reminder, if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to our channel and smash that thumbs up. And if you're looking for my best bets, you can find those at Pick Dogs Premium. Why are your Pick Dogs? Check out our betting tools. They're one hundred percent free. They're the best betting tools in the business, and tools that you want to make sure that you have in your back pocket when you're making your best bets for the day's action. And while you're at our YouTube channel, make sure you have notifications turned on so you can be the first to be in the know when the newest content drops here. At Pick Dogs. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.